How you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Uh, today I thought I'd do a, a something different. First different thing I want to do, something I don't normally do, but I would like to recommend another uh, website, not another website, another YouTube channel, RJ's The Fourth World. Uh, th this guy is so freaking intelligent and so smart. He gives me so many things to think about. I, I, I literally have to just concentrate on what he's talking about while I'm driving to work and back. If I'm, I, I have to give him all of my attention, otherwise it, it's over my head. But the guy is, a, I don't know what he does for a living. I, he, he says he lives on an island somewhere, and I, I don't mean to insult you, RJ, if you ever listen to this video, but I picture you li living like Ted Kaczynski in a shack somewhere writing a comic book manifesto. Which brings me to uh, the fourth world. He's making a comic called uh, Thomas Valiant on Indiegogo. Uh, so, if those of you don't know, Indiegogo is a uh, crowdfunding site. So you, you you go to your Google, type in Indiegogo, and then go into the uh, the little search bar and type in Thomas Valiant, and you'll find RJ's comic book called Thomas Valiant. The art looks wonderful, and I am very super confident that it'll be something that you will enjoy. I backed it. It's more expensive than a regular comic, but then again, that's the price you pay for quality these days because comics are so bad. It, 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 uh, just I, I, I recommend I don't have the comic but just my interactions with RJ and listening to his videos I know and looking at the art it's it's gonna be something else so that's actually my first shill but it's it's is it really a shill if you, if you believe in it so there you go I I just think uh, I think the world of RJ and uh, and if you are Ted Faginski cross me off your list <laughs> so anyway uh, the other thing I wanted to do is I got a bunch of back issues today so I, uh, these are comics that I haven't read yet. That's why I'm not showcasing them. They're still in their plastic. Um, these are things that are catch my eye or, or putting, uh, filling gaps in my collection. Or, you know, in one case, you'll see that it was something that I saw while showcasing another comic. And I, I was like, hmm, that looks interesting. So, you know, even though I got billions of comics that I haven't read yet, I'm still crazy and, and, and buy other back issues. But uh, I hardly ever get, you know, my, my new comic book uh, every month is like it, it it used to be four hundred dollars a month now it's like twenty two eighteen dollars a month because new comics aren't that good but this is uh kojaru the skinner i know nothing about it other than it's mike mignola who did hellboy so this is going to go into my collection you know i have a, a box i have geez i have nine boxes of, of comics that i haven't read yet and uh it goes there first and then and then i'll read them but I gotta log it into my collection, and this is what I do. This is a Comic Base 2021 4K Archive Edition Comic Base database. I also I'm getting no money from these people. In fact, I've been subscribing to them for, for years, and every year I get uh, the new version. And this this takes care of my comic collection. So what I'm gonna do is report uh, items. I'm gonna add a comic by the barcode. So look at this. I bought myself a scanner and and of course it's not working it's the glare here we go and you see that so there I hit add well I'm not gonna hit add yet so I'm gonna put this over here and this is Kojero the skin uh, the Skinner number two it's a two issue new series and I always get the uh, I didn't show you this, but I always get the A covers because I, I'm tired of all these varied covers. I just get the A, the, the basic cover. So now I'm just going to scan. It's just hard to do with one hand and then in the plastic bag. There we go. You see, it's going to come up and there. These two comics and then all the rest of the stuff don't have barcodes, so these are older than uh, 1985. So I hit Add, and these comics are now into, they're, they're logged into my comic collection. So now this is Evangeline from uh, Comico. I'm going to put this into my collection, but it doesn't have a barcode, so how do I, how do I scan it? So I'm going to go up here, and normally I'd use two hands, but I'm holding my phone so evangeline volume one issues one and two i'm gonna hit that i'm gonna hit that hit enter and now these two issues 
are logged into my comic. Uh, this is Chuck Dixon. Okay, Charles Dixon, as he was called back then, and Judith Hunt. I know nothing about this comic other than it's Comico, a company that I really love, and it's Chuck Dixon, an artist that I really like, who also is a... He's, he's, he's doing some Indiegogo comics. Look up uh, The Expendables. And now, now I'm going with Pit. Okay, I have Pit 1 and 2, and there's no barcode. And now I'm, I'm, I'm filling in my Pit collection. And I'll give you a little scoop for because uh, uh, Dale Keown is one of comic book's top artists. He did a phenomenal Hulk run. He's uh, working with uh, Ethan Van Skyver at All Caps Comics, and he's bringing back the Pit character. He's doing some cyber frog, frog work, and these comics are going to just explode in price. I guarantee it. So I, th these are like $2 a piece right now, so I, I grabbed them now while I can. So, you know... I'm not a financial advisor. I've just been reading comic books for a billion years. So I know that... Uh... Okay, this is The Pit Marvel. So I'm going to hit back and I go to Pit. So as you can see, it's in gray. That means I have it. So I have issues one and two. And this is three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to hit one, oh, four, five, and six. Hit enter, and these are all logged in. I'll show the covers. Why not? Just wonderful artwork. And this is a full-on 90s comics. This is full-on uh, image at its best. Yeah, 1993. Uh, it, it says 1994 in the database. So the, it was drawn in 93, released in, in, in 94. Here's some Pit. Pit is like a, a Hulk-type monster. And forgive me, but I, I don't remember even reading issue one and two i just know that i have them so here's the more so i got seven eight nine and so that so i'm gonna log up to nine they're in plastic bags so they they just want to slide so i'm gonna go to seven let me know if you like this kind of stuff guys this is just a little... I was going to do a Crisis on Infinite Earth, so I'll, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, I logged in 10, even though I don't have it. So I'm going to hit Backspace and 0, because I don't have 10. Okay, so this is Comico Primer. I got issue 1 and 3. Number 2 is like $10,000. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be getting... Comico Primer number two, even though it drives me nuts. So, Primer. Comico Primer. Okay. It says the price here is $61. But uh, I saw it on eBay for 10 grand. And that's because it's the first appearance of Grendel. So, I got issue one. That was like two bucks. Issue three, that was like two bucks. And uh, there's only six issues. So the other ones, you know, first appearance of Firebird, first appearance of Laser Man, never heard of. First professional art by Sam Keith, who, who did uh, Sandman, and he also did The Max. And first appearance of Evangeline. So I'll, I'll try to be tracking these down, but I'm not spending this much money. I, 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 I can't waste money like that on comics anymore. And here, back to Alterna Comics, this is... Uh, this is the chair uh, written by Peter Samedi, the founder and uh, CEO of, of Alterna Comics, a really, really decent guy. I wanted to read his comic, but uh, this is the first printing. I, I, I couldn't get copies of the first printing at a, on his website, so I went to a back issue source. The chair. Okay. This is the collected work. This is the actual comics. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Hit enter. These are now logged in. Pretty, pretty neat covers. Okay, and then this was just a, a issue of Savage Dragon that I was missing. So what number is this? So I'm going to go up here because the uh, this. 
the uh, the barcode is actually on the back, so I'm gonna hit seven. Savage Dragon. Okay, and you can see how many of these I have. Look, all the gray means I have it. The white strips are just like second second printings and stuff like that. I, you know, so like I got 100 and then 100, uh, 120 and 120A with the varied cover. You know, so I, I don't bother. I just need one copy of every comic. I, I can't go broke. So here we go. 258A. So here we go. And there. See, I couldn't read 259 until I read that. So there we go. And that's all the comics that I got. All the, some back issues that I got to fill in holes in my car. So a uh, nice short video. Oh, this is this is what you all want to see. So Everything's logged in. I'm going to go to check for updates because this thing uh, searches and they, they add in new comics. So this is a full rundown on, on my comic book collection. Yeah, uh, theoretically my comic book collection is worth that much, but yeah, right. Uh, and keep in mind, I have a lot of beat up comics that I just scan in as, you know, I, I, I'm not a grader, so I just hit yes, yes, yes. So, you know take that with a huge grain of salt but this is accurate comic books 43,685 comics I added 16 comics just recently and the value went up but don't don't take that value here because like I said I just it by default everything is near mint so I just log in near mint near mint, near mint because I'm not a grader I don't know so this this price is wildly wildly off so here you go and then you could uh You could edit, you know, check all, all the stuff, new comic books, mass change report. Here's collection overview. Uh, title titles I own. Preview. This this sometimes takes a while. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a while to, to it prints up like a a, a, a PDF of, of my entire collection. Oh, here it goes. Do -do 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 -do. I guess I got, oh, uh, uh, okay, error, uh, oh, and then it crashed because uh, I, I hit the wrong button, and now I'm playing Civilization. Get, I'm, at, I'm attacking the Indonesians because they attacked me. So here we go. This is, uh, that was today's video. What do you think of that? All right, kind of interesting, kind of a waste of time, <laughs> but uh, I thought I'd try something something different something interesting uh i've been using this uh software for, for a long time i used to go in and write everything in a notebook oh god and then uh then i bought the software and i transferred it all in there so it just, just makes it so much easier so because i used to end up buying the same thing twice because i would mismanage it and put it in the wrong box so uh i, I gotta keep myself organized i do the same thing with my board games i have uh board game geek I, I, I organize my, my board game so I know, I know what I have so there you go hope you liked today's video tomorrow I'm going to do crisis on infinite earth all right see you around bye bye